Now, Atai, learning Torah is a very big inyan. I'm saying anybody learning Gemara or anything in life, you have to understand, it's got to be part of your life. It's got to be part of you. Now, how do you make something part of you? How do you make your learning part of you? So I'm going to tell you the answer, very simple. The more you review, it becomes part of you. It has to be chakuk alibecha. What does it mean chakuk alibecha? It has to be engraved in your, in your, in your brain. Right? Lev, it can be heart, or lev means the brain. It's got to be engraved in your, in your brain. Where like, like it's, you so, it's soaked in. The way you do that is by reviewing your Torah learning. And by the way, when you review your Torah learning, you automatically have a, 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 a love. You have a kid. You have a young guy. Right? One day, one day, you're going to have your child. He's going to be in, let's say, third grade, fourth grade, whatever it is. He's going to start learning Mishnayot. Now, how are you going to develop a love for that? How? I'm going to tell you the secret right now. Developing the love for your child, for learning, or even for yourself, very simple. Let him take something that, that, that he can handle and review it many, many times over, many, many times over, many, many times over. And he knows it good. He feels like, wow, I'm accomplishing. This is great. When a person starts feeling a little bit of success, he wants to do more and more and more and more and more. It's a secret that a lot of people know now. They're starting to know it because they see that, that, that that's making an effect. We're making a program right now, let's say um, in another week. And there's a whole new group of uh, young guys are coming to learn. And they asked me, Rabbi Palachi, what are we going to teach them? I said, we're going to teach them something very easily. Right? I, I told them very easy. And they're going to have to review it on an ongoing thing. Let's say we're going to learn, let's say, give me an example, let's say Mishnayot. They're going to learn Mishnayot and they're going to review those Mishnayot a lot, a lot of times. So therefore they feel, they feel so good. They want to come back the next day because then they get an addiction. The addiction is learn more and more. Wow, wow, wow. I know it. I, 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 I reviewed it. I can read it over on the Shabbat table. Oh my goodness. And that's exactly what it says in Gemara Tanik. Look what it says in Gemara Resh Lakish Hayacho Zer HaHalacha It says Resh Lakish went over it Arba'im Pa'amim can anybody guess why he do, went over it 40 times? Teddy, why did he go over 40 times? 40 days and 40 nights. Oh, because the Torah was given 40 days and 40 nights, right? Moshe Rabbein was something getting the Torah 40 days and 40 nights. So because of that, he reviewed it 40 times over. What do you mean? Actually, you think he didn't know it the first time? Of course he knew it the first time. Why is he reviewing it again and again and again and again and again and again? Yeah, you know why? Because he wants to make more part of him. Part of him. And that's what he's saying over here. Kodem Shabbat Vnei Rayan. V'chein asu kulam b'chokmei ha-talmud she'ikal demudam ha-yach ha-zala. You know what he says over here? Amazing. V'chein asu kulam b'mei chokmei ha-talmud she'ikal demudam ha-yach ha-zala. When you review, you review, you review, you review it, then what? Then you have a more, a delicious taste towards it. You want to you wanna know more of it. And this is a very important, important shi'ur about developing yourself, any man, to, 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 to love learning is take a small segment and review it and review it and review it. I had a friend, right? David Franco. You know everybody, David Franco, right? So he told me one time, he, said he, he, he met, he was dealing with a guy and this guy happens to be, um, uh, he wasn't into the learning and nobody was ever telling him to get into the learning. He was getting a senior in high school. It's like his last year, like last foot. Yes, yeah, if he gets him in learning, good. Not now. And he told me, like, whatever the school was doing, he just took him, it was a one-on-one -on -one type of uh, thing. And it was, his, it was the rabbi for him, specifically to, to give him over. So he, they would go and he would learn in Be'er And he only focused, this amazing thing that he did, he only focused, like, literally, on one daf that he knew very, very well. The daf of Gemara, he knew Gemara, Rashi, every Gemara, every Rashi, every Tosafot, and he reviewed it again and again and again. And at the end of the year, he told the rabbi, I want to go to Israel to learn for a year. He says, Why? So I never learned like this in my life because he finally understood what he got and he reviewed it and he became part of him. When he becomes part of you, then already you enjoyed that learning. And how do you make it be part of you? Get it good and review it again and then again and then again and then again. Then you feel good. Take a few lines. I'll give you a suggestion. You're learning, you're learning Mishnah, Mishnah, easy. You're learning Mishnah, review the Mishnah again and again and again. You're learning Gemara, take it like, a, like, like, like 10 lines, review it. Know it well again and again and again. Take another 10 lines. No, well, well, not again, 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 again. Now, you finish 10 lines, 20 lines, 30 lines, finish the whole page in one shot. <sniffs> After you finish that page, do another 10 lines, and then do a whole daf, and then do the whole... Little by little, you'll see the love of that you have for the learning will just sprout like a fountain of love that I just want to learn and learn and learn and learn and learn.